One of the great features of Visual Studio Code is its great debugging support. VS Code's built-in debugger helps accelerate your edit, compile, and debug loop. Welcome to day 7 of 30 days of AL, and today we are going to look at the debugger. So the first thing uh, for you to be able to utilize the debugger is when you go on the run command, you can you create a, a breakpoint or you toggle the breakpoint. The breakpoint is where you want your code to stop while debugging. So I have one breakpoint right at uh, at the beginning of this procedure. And the second breakpoint will be at or inside this particular procedure. Here it is. So how you toggle the breakpoint is F9 or run and then you just click on it. So that's when where I want my code to stop and probably somewhere around here. Okay, so I will publish my application and then we can be able to see the methods that are inside the debugger. Okay, so just run and you start debugging. F5. So when you run, there is um, you should always start running with debugging. There is an option of running without debugging if you are you don't want to use the debugger, but when you want to do to use the debugger you press F5 or you run with debugging. So day 7 will trigger our debugger for the day 7 procedure. There we are. So the breakpoint, this is where the code has stopped at day 1. So the first method that we have here in the debugger right on the top is continue. Continue will take us to the next breakpoint. So I'll press on continue and move to the next breakpoint. So Day 5 is a method that has been called. You can see it has been ignored. We have already gone to day 6, which is the next breakpoint after day 1. So, once you use continue, there is a step over that will take you to, to the next line. So, when I step over, I am moving to the next line. I step over again to the next line and again to another next line. There we are. So, here I have my name stepped over and it's displayed once I move to the next line. The other method that we have here is step into. Step into is to when you want to move into a certain method. Like you see the way day 5, we just rushed past day 5 uh, without going into the method. Step into will take you inside a method. So it can also be used to go to the next line in case there is no method. But if there is a method, you will go inside the details of the method. Okay. And another one is now step out. Step out will take us out of the method. So we are in this method. When we step out, it will take us out of the, the day six procedure. So I've gone to step out. Okay, I am in this loop here. That's why it's taking me outside. Instead of going line by line, it's taking me outside this particular loop. Let me uh, stop the toggle. Toggle, toggle, toggle. Toggle breakpoint again. And then step out. I've gone to the next loop. Okay, it's a method or loop. So if your method doesn't have a loop, it will just take you to the next method. But if, like for this one, which has a loop, step into is just taking me in the method. So I'll use step into again. Step into, no, and then step out. We are out of the method. And we are now here in day six. And at any point, continue will take you way, way out of everything. Okay. And the debugger, when you click on this debug, run and debug uh, window, you can be able to see the queries that are being generated by your code. This is one of the best features that I've seen, especially in Business Central. And you can see like this is a query that is running. We have another query here that is running. So these are the queries that are being generated. For the customer and then we have now locals we can track the values of our local variables on demand and the changes that are happening to our local and global variables like here in day seven we don't have any uh global or local variable let me just continue and move again to the debugger so that you can see the tracking of the variables so i'll con i'll step over Step over again and step into. I'll step into this method. 
and enable this view of the variables and we'll now try and see when they're changing so let me step over step over and again step over just monitor the variables the change of the variable so this variable was blank but now the name has a value mr mike nash and uh, the globals will also have a value so you can be able to track your variables or variable tracking and the queries that are running and in case you have a problem with uh, the performance of your application this is a great tool to help you see um, even the time a particular line of code um, it takes to execute because if it takes long to execute one line of code compared to the normal running it means at the end of it all it will be slowing down your application especially here in the queries you can see our duration is one millisecond so that's it for this video i will see you in day eight of 30 days of al i hope you make use of the debugger especially when you have logical errors see you there if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one